What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinBarTech.com and today I'm going to do unboxing of this is the Fluke Network Link Sprinter Network Tester. This is the Model 200. And Fluke was nice enough to send me a complimentary device uh, to do a review on because I've been successful with their Fluke products in the past. I'm gonna show you a few items that I've tested out in the past and I use their products because Fluke Network is like the Mercedes-Benz of networking gear. Now, if you guys are into networking, data cabling, stuff like that, Fluke Networks is like the creme de la creme. They're the Mercedes-Benz of networking gear and they make the most solid, the strongest uh, networking gear out there. And I highly, highly recommend it. Now, before we get started with this unboxing, I'm gonna show you some of the tools that I use already. Now, first up is this uh, Fluke Network uh, mold pouch that holds a few different tools. Now, I'm gonna show you each tool individually. Now, this pouch and the tools are sold separately. I'm um, actually, you can buy them together. I'm gonna leave a link for both this pouch and the tools together and also the link for them separately in the video. Now first item in the pouch is this uh, Fluke Network punch down tool. Now if you guys are going to be working with patch panels or punching down jacks, this is the perfect tool to have. Now this tool I use a lot when I'm punching down CAT5 or CAT6 patch panels or jacks. I use this tool a lot when I'm doing that. Next up is these uh, electrician scissors. Now these electrician scissors, these are Fluke electrician scissors. As you can see, the Fluke name brand right there. Now these electrician scissors are perfect if you can be uh, data cabling or cutting any type of copper cable. This cuts right through the cable like it's butter. These are like heavy gauge steel, very strong tool you need to have. And I recommend Fluke's brand. Now next up is this Fluke Network Cable Stripper. I use this to strip RJ45 cable. And this is a perfect tool to have if you're data cabling. Now next up is this Fluke Network butt set. This is used to test uh, for phone lines and it has these like alligator clips as you can see over here. These are the different alligator clips and you use this to test all the phone lines. If you can be working on phone lines, this is the perfect tool to have. I recommend it. And I'm gonna leave a link to this product in my description as well. And finally, my Fluke Network Toner and Probe. Now this is the toner, right? Now this probe here is used to isolate cable and this also tests cable. It tests the cable to see if it was terminated properly. Now, the way this works is you take this probe and you also need this uh, tone generator, right? This is the tone generator. This generates a tone. You connect one end of the cable that you want to locate, right? Or that you want to test to this RJ45 jack over here. You connect one cable, you turn on the, the toner generator, right? It generates a tone. Then you take this probe, you go to wherever you want to isolate the cable, wherever you think the cable is. Now, if it's in a pile of cables, it will isolate the specific cable by uh, picking up the tone that the tone generator generates, right? So once you get to the cable, it starts beeping to let you know that that's the cable you're looking for. And again, th at this end, you could connect to the other end if you're testing it for a cable, right? You connect the other end here and the other end goes into the probe generator, right? And you'll test whether or not the cable has been uh, terminated properly. It'll let you know here if the cable is terminated properly. So, so basically, this is like two tools in one. So I love this. So these tools together saved me hours of, of, of time. It took, it took me minutes instead of hours to do the data cabling because I could locate my cable quickly and I could test to see if the cable was terminated properly. So I highly recommend these tools here. Now let's get started with the unboxing. Now this is the Fluke Network Link Sprinter Network Tester. This is again, model 200. So let's open up the box here. Inside you have this user manual and it'll tell you how to get started with the device. I'm gonna put this on the side. And this is the actual device itself, the Fluke Network Link Sprinter 200. And uh, first impressions, this is a solid, solid tool. Now, like I said, uh, Fluke Network only makes solid, solid tools. They're like the creme de la creme of networking gear and all their gear is solid. Like you could drop this from a, a 20 foot ladder if they had one and it would still work. And again, just feeling it right now, it feels solid. But let's see what else is in the box. Now, uh, also in the box is two uh, AA batteries. And it's awesome that they actually give you batteries. A lot of these companies won't even give you the battery. So two AA batteries. Let's lift this up here. Lift this off. It comes with this wrist strap. So you connect this to your device. So uh, it won't fall. You hook this onto your wrist. So it protects you from dropping your device on the floor, so that's pretty neat. And it also comes with more paperwork. And that's it for the unboxing. Alright guys, so this is how you use the device. You take the device, 
You make sure there are two AA batteries connected to the back. You make sure you connect uh, a RJ45 cable to the back of the device and the other end of the cable goes to your switch or your router. Once everything is connected, all you have to do is press this green button here, press the button, then the test should start. Now the first thing it's going to test for is for power over ethernet. As you can see right here, this is the lighting symbol for power over ethernet. I don't have a power over ethernet switch, so it didn't light up. The next test, it'll test to see what the network speed you're running, whether it's a 10 by 100 or 100 by 1000. It lit up, so it was able to test that. Next up, it'll test to see if you can find your DHCP. If you could locate your DHCP info, it'll light up green, which it did. Next up, it'll test right here for your default gateway. If you can locate your default gateway, it'll light up. It located mine, so it's solid green. Now next and final test is to see if it connects to the internet. It'll plug in a site like Google or Yahoo. And if it could connect to Google or Yahoo, that means uh, you could connect to the internet. And that's all the tests that this device does. And it's pretty freaking cool. All right, guys, this is how you set up your device for the first time. You need to open up your browser. I have Chrome open here. And up here, this is the URL you're going to use. It's app.linksprinter.com forward slash sign up. Go to this URL. This is the page you should see. You're going to fill out all this information, your name uh, and all the stuff it asks. Then you're going to create an account, follow all that information. It's going to ask you to connect your device to your network while it downloads some updates and when that's done you're going to create a username and password once you created that username and password you're able to log in so to log in you just delete this sign up and it's app.linksprinter.com click on that url and uh, mine automatically uh, jumped straight to the account. You might for the first time uh, be asked for a username and password. I chose to have mine automatically uh, load. So my username and password is saved. So this is what you're gonna see for the first time. And each one of these rows here, each one of these rows is a separate test. Each time you clicked on that green button, it's gonna create a new row. This is a whole new test here. And uh, the first column in the first row here is the time. It'll tell you the date and time when the test was performed. The second column here, it'll tell you the test information, the name of the device, and the MAC address of the device. And you can create comments if you want. Now the third column here is for power over ethernet. And I don't have any power over ethernet switches, so this column here is blank. Now the fourth tab here, this is for your link. It tests for your uh, network speed basically. The speed is 100 for mine, it'll be different for yours, and it'll tell you a lot of different things like duplex, uh, your RX pair, your priority, and all that stuff. It'll tell you everything you need to know about your speed here. Now the next column here is the switch. It'll populate all the information if you have a switch connected. This column here is blank because uh, I don't have any switches connected to my network. So this here is blank. But if you had a switch connected to your network, it would populate it with all the information here. Now the next column here is the DHCP and this will give you all your DHCP info like your IP address, server, subnet, and your DNS. All that information will be populated here. Now the next column here is default gateway and it will find your default gateway and ping it. If you ping your default gateway, it will return the results. So this is for your default gateway. Now the final test here is uh, to test whether or not you have internet access. This is the cloud basically. Now the way it works, it enters a URL. Right here by default, it's Google. It'll ping that URL, and if it could ping that URL, that means you're connected to the internet. Now, on top here, you have different filters you can use. You could filter by summary, by detail, by one day, by three days, by seven days, by 14 days. You can filter by all. You can create a date filter here and a lot more. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it here. But I thought this was cool. All this here is basically the cloud. Every time you run a test, and you're, you have an internet connection, it will automatically send that info to the cloud so you can review it later, you can create notes. Here you can even export it to PDF or CSV if you want to keep track of all that stuff. And that's pretty much it for this part. All right guys, if you're interested in picking one of these devices up for yourself, the link is going to be in the description. I highly recommend it. Fluke Networks makes the best uh, tools, the best gear for networking. They're solid, solid tools. You could practically throw this against the wall and it would still work. That's how strong these devices are. I highly recommend this. So if you guys are interested, links are in the description. I would like to also take this time to thank Fluke Networks for sending me this device for review. They practically gave me a free device so I can review it and show you guys. I had great success with their products in the past. So they sent me this device and again, thank you guys.
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossBirdTech.com, and thanks for watching.